These are the directions for workplace 6C fraction spin and add. The materials you need for this game is one 6C fraction spin and add record sheet to share, some pattern blocks, and a spinner overlay. To begin this game, player one will spin the spinner twice and add the two spins. So I got 1 sixth and 2 thirds. Now I'll have to add 1 sixth plus 2 thirds. So I know 1 sixth is equivalent to one triangle because that takes up 1 sixth of the hexagon. But if I am going to add 2 thirds, 2 thirds is equal or equivalent to 4 sixths. So I would need 4 more triangles or a way in which I can cover up 4 sixths more of the shape. So now I've taken up a total of 5 sixths of the hexagon. From there, player two will begin to spin twice and do the same steps I took. The first player to fill all six hexagons wins. If a player one wins, then player two gets one more turn to make sure that each player has the same amount of turns. Going over six hexagons is allowed, so you'll continue and see who can fill up all the hexagons until they are over or closest to being the end or covering all their hexagons up. These are the end of the directions for workplace 6C fraction spin and add. If you're looking for different variations of this game, spin where you students can spin only one time and place the pattern block pieces on the record sheet, or the game can continue until one player fills up all six exactly without going over. Players can also choose to record their moves, meaning their spins and their trades by writing the fraction on the side. So in this case, I would have written one six plus two thirds equals five six. Lastly, students could also start with the six hexagon spin and subtract rather than adding the pieces.